Are you ready to invest in island living? From the capital of Victoria at the south to windswept beaches and rocky headlands at the north, Vancouver Island has something for everyone. The least expensive cities to live tend to be on the northern part of the island, with a few exceptions. We looked at the typical assessed value for single family homes across the island to let you know what to expect. Here are the least expensive cities to buy a home on Vancouver Island in 2020. Coming in at number 10, Lake Cowichan. Located on one of the largest freshwater lakes on Vancouver Island, Lake Cowichan is the gateway to miles of spectacular boating, hiking, and camping opportunities. Number 9, Port Alberni. Port Alberni has something for everyone, from urban living to rural amenities all set within a picturesque valley rich with natural resources, stunning views, and majestic mountains and rivers. Number eight, Sayward. If you choose to live in Sayward, you'll enjoy fresh, clean ocean air, wild natural beauty, and wide open spaces. Everything you look for in a West Coast lifestyle. Number seven, Port McNeil. Port McNeil is a grade A stepping stone to outdoor adventure. It proudly coexists with the right natural resources of land and sea as the gateway to the Broughton Archipelago. Number six, Port Hardy. Port Hardy sits at the very edge of the coastal wilderness. You can hike the rugged trails, walk along the sandy beaches, or paddle along the rocky shores of this resilient community. Number five, Gold River. Located on the edge of British Columbia's oldest provincial park, the village of Gold River is a community rich in history, progressive in commerce, and that proudly retains its small town appeal. Number four, Alert Bay. Alert Bay is on Cormorant Island in the Queen Charlotte Strait. Formerly a thriving fishing village, the waterfront boardwalks, ferry dock, and marinas bustle with life today. Number three, Port Alice. The community of Port Alice is known for its natural environment, pulp mill, and saltwater fishing. It's also called the gateway to the wild west coast. Number two, Tossus. Tossus is a friendly and active community. Most residents are outdoor enthusiasts, including many avid anglers. And coming in at number one, Zebalos. Zebalos sits at the gateway to Nootka Sound world famous for salmon fishing and kayaking opportunities. It is increasingly becoming a destination for folks who are looking for the excitement of wilderness recreation activities and for those wishing to learn about and delve into its gold mining past. Are you ready to call Vancouver Island home? The Auxilium team is here to help you. Give us a call or fill out a form on our website to start the process of buying your dream home and book your free consultation.